Hey everybody, I'm Nostalgia Scott and welcome to part 8 of Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. So, I actually went back and got that gem that we didn't get in Temple of Boom. Literally, we just missed it by like a split, uh, like a hair. So, anyways, let's go grab the two gems that we need here. So, literally, I think all we need to do is just complete the level by getting all the boxes. So it's like playing it for the first time, pretty much. Okay, wait till everything blows up before we hit this. You know, that might also be an issue is if you jump on the plat on the uh, bonus platform before, you know, completing everything. Alright, blow up everything, please. Oh, yeah, that, that, uh, a little different than I was expecting it to. Oh. Okay. I could hear it go pop. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure about this. Oh yeah, that was a little scary. Wasn't really entirely sure on what was going to happen there for a second, but we did it. Hmm, I think with double jump and everything will be fine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And a one, two, three, four, five. Yep. No, we actually have to go up there. God darn it. Bummer. Because this is like such a big bonus too, you know? Like, it's not a tiny bonus by any stretch of the imagination. It's a, it's a big bonus. Which explains, you know, why like there's so much going on. Like seriously. A big chunk of this is literally just you doing nothing for a bit and then, bam, so much to do. Now I gotta remember right, not to fail there miserably or anything like that, but to go back and do all this. Both like double jump and everything, this isn't that bad. See? Easy. Also, can I like grab that life? Darn it, I don't know if I can unless I go all the way back to get it. You don't even have to high jump there, you can just jump like that. We got all of this. One, two, three, four, and five, and then this one I'm not even gonna care about. Alright, never mind. I think that's it after that, right? Just the the nitro that we can deal with, I believe. And there we go. And do not fall off right there. That would suck. So yeah, we're a third of the way done now. That's pretty good. And then I believe this is the level where the second clear gem is found at the very end of the level. Like there's that end of the level platform. I really do like the sewer levels though in all Crash games. Probably some of the best sewer levels in any video game to date. Just like uh, I find Super Mario Bros. 3 to be one of the best um, ports of a game ever, like the soundtrack is amazing. Yeah, it really is. Compared to like Donkey Kong Country 3 where almost all the soundtracks were changed around. Like, I will be playing both on my channel to show you guys at, at some point, you know, like, the different, the different, um, soundtracks. God, this is annoying, because you can't jump too high. Oh, more nitro. Not a lot of nitro in this level, per se, but definitely enough where a nitro switch will blow up a good portion of the uh, boxes that are remaining. Oh, darn it. Well, there they all are, so let's do this. 
Okay, so we got 95 at 154. That's still a lot of boxes remaining. Like, we're still gonna need 52 after those two blow up. That's absolutely nuts, man. This level is huge for being... I don't know, the first half of the game? Oh yeah, the rat part. This part's kind of annoying. Remember when we were speedrunning this? We hit the rat. I feel like that was just a waste. Like, time and effort. I guess maybe that was like more of a challenge for like the speedrun. Like, not the speedrun, the um... Ah, whatchamacallit. Uh, ba 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 The relic. Yeah, and there's 47 boxes in here. Wait, what? Did you guys see that I was stuck in the air like I was climbing the ceiling for a second? Now, I've never done this portion, so honestly... I'm not entirely sure what to think of it. One, two, three... Four, five. Now remember, it's generally all in one sitting, so try not to die. Oh, he doesn't go far enough where I can make it past him. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait a minute, what? Why didn't that not... Okay, guys, I am... I am going to, uh, see it does that in that one spot, it's that one box. Also that enemy decided to actually attack this time. Okay, this may, uh, actually be a difficult, see I don't get that. And I don't get it, like you get sucked up to go higher than normal. Okay, I don't get what was with that enemy, he literally took forever twice. I hate these boxes, man. And a one, and a two, and a three, four, five, kablooey. Gosh, this is absolutely terrifying. Okay, so no, you actually have to take the uh, other way. Like, there's no other way to get it, so this is gonna be a little bit cumbersome, but... Okay, that time I was actually able to kill him before he was able to shoot his fire. This enemy, on the other hand, really gets annoying. The good news is if we keep dying, we can get another Aku Aku, which will help us a lot. Now, thing is, I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to fall. Right there, okay. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Oh, thank heaven. I guess it looks like it's, I can just do whatever with it. Oh, now you give me the Aku Aku in what looks to be like the easier portion of the level. Two, three, four. Still need 17 boxes though, that's absolutely insane. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't think that was gonna work for a second there. Oh yeah, never mind. That, that backfired completely. My whole plan was to actually time that better, but for some reason I can't time stuff. Also, what is with their obsession in these boxes in this level? Well, this part of the level, I should say. Oh man. Okay, good. I really don't think you need to get the gem that way, man, but okay. Whoa! It's a random frog. Frog! And there we go! Another level done!
Now let's get the relic in shark attack. Dude, why are you facing down? I'm pushing, I'm pushing right. These levels barely took like, what, three minutes to beat in the game anyway? Oh, one of the tightest fits of the game. That's what she said. She's in it to win it. Except there are, are no she's in here. I don't even think, I think Coco shows up like, what, once? Okay, why is he going up and down 24-7? Like, I'm not even angling myself that way. Nitro. I literally just gave me my time to go around him again. Run, jellyfish. Really, I never understood the level names behind like these water levels in this game, because I feel like they're not really there to match the levels very well. Ah, we got the gold one. We were only off by a second for platinum. And now let's do Ruins Relic. Two minutes and 41 seconds. Probably because it's one of the... Why is that? Oh yeah, wrong button. Yeah, it's one of these levels that have like all the platforms. Because for some reason the relic level or the relic levels. The uh ruin levels really like this type of stuff. See? Like you literally gotta wait there for almost five seconds just doing that. Oh yeah, that, that kind of helped. Oh man. And these platforms are just so annoying. Whoa. And the random occurrence of, like, those spiky lizard guys from Crash 2. They're just, like, out of the blue. They're just like, hey, we're here. We're gonna stab you now. Can you, like, give me an Aku Aku, though? Also, that bird didn't want to die for some reason. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna be a little more careless in the running department, but not really the platforming department. Still gotta be patient. Pretty sure I need that. Like I'm pretty sure you need that to even progress. Maybe not. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if you need it to actually progress or not. Oh yeah, how's I supposed to know there's gonna be a spiky lizard guy right there? Man, like, there could be anything anywhere now. Oh, no, not this part. Wait a minute, I can just do this. Oh, there's the bone. No! Why did you... No! Why did you die there, Crash? Like, he didn't slide. I'm having issues with my controls. Maybe it's out of sync again. Every now and then, my controller does that. There we go, that, that time that one worked out better. Ah, this episode's probably gonna have some editing done to it. Not a lot, but definitely some. Oh, this part. I hate this part. It's easy to do, but I hate it. I really do. Oh yes, my Aku Aku comes from on a high box over here. Thank you. This time, let's not burn it on that one lizard. I think it was a lizard, right? Well, technically, the only other enemies in this level other than lizards are those purple birds, so. I meant the spiky lizards, or I think they might have flaming collars, I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I don't even. No, never mind. I don't even need that. Oh, yeah, I landed on that guy. There we go. He is defeated. Okay, right, I think we're making slightly better time. Not really much, though. 
It was that one, right? I believe it was that one that I literally got stuck on. Because the darn platform. Wait, there's nothing there. God, these platforms. Why didn't I jump? Okay, cut two seconds off, please. Thank you. Come on, please be the ending. I don't remember this level actually being this long. Like, I really don't. Oh, thank god we made it. 23 seconds off for plat- well, that is a really, really steep difference. Alright, let's do Blimp Bonanza. Hate these levels, but let's do it anyway. Okay. Right. I think next episode we might actually be done with the game. And if we're gonna be done with the game, that'll be awesome. I think it really will be. Just avoid everything. I'm not as worried now that I know that we get health. Look at all this time. Darn it. Why is it that I always miss one of those? Okay. That bomb spawned in behind him. You know, because they can just go through. I guess they wouldn't be big on giving you health and time deduction in the same box, eh? That'd be too funny. Have you guys seen Flatliners remake yet? If so, is it any good? I want to see it with my girlfriend, but we gotta wait till we get paid, and that's not for a while, so... I'm trying to determine if it'll be worth seeing. It looks great. Okay, I think we're gonna be fine. We only got one third of the level left after this. You stop hitting me. That one had so much more health than the last one. Those bombs really do block you from getting these time deductors, though. I think it's, they're literally just meant to deal with these guys. Oh, I hit one. Like, I killed them, but... Nope. Oh, that was painfully annoying. Whoa! Oh, good darn it. Okay, oh, yeah, those were double health. That was nice. Thank you. Alright, now we can finish them off. Hopefully it's enough. Did we do it? Yes, we got Sapphire! Barely, but we did it! Yeah! Alright. Time for Star to Finish! <laughs> that was bad. At least the underwater level that it didn't go too bad. So I don't think it did. Honestly, I can't even remember at this point. Whoa. Like there's so many hazards that you just gotta watch out for in these type of levels that I never know when I'm gonna actually run into them or not. Cause I don't remember this game off by heart, you know? Like, even though I've played it just as much as any other crash game, Wrath being the least played. But definitely not my most, not definitely not a hated game. That's for sure. Can you hurry up? Those are the enemies that are gonna screw me over in this uh, run. Wow, double box kill there. Oh, 
What? Did you guys hear my spin? You guys could literally hear my spin, but it didn't do anything. Like, it didn't, and I don't know why. Okay, we're doing fine. This part, though, you can't literally just, like, push X or A. Not X. We're not playing. Darn it. Like, and then he didn't die. Like, you can't just push, like, A or B to, you know, stop it or anything. That's a really short two seconds of time there. That time it didn't destroy the, the second bot. The fact that those enemies are just randomly going to use up or down attacks, you don't know which one they're going to choose. I'll just fall through there. Save us a few seconds. Shave some off the top, you know? It's gonna be annoying, but... I'm actually nervous to do the final, uh, blimp one. Like, that's literally the only one that I'm honestly worried about after this. Alright, good. We killed them both that time. And I still hit the other one. God darn it, man. so bad at this game all of a sudden. See, that time I destroyed both. Oh, really? Seriously? You timed it bad, dude. Okay, you, t you can't spin right away like after you get up, which is really weird. Ooh. I always forget that there's nitro there on these darn platforms. Another time trial annoyance. Dude, I wasn't even touching you. That was the sad part. Okay, those little guys with their arms might be in a weird position now. That was definitely the best showing of the beginning part so far. That was bad, because I actually landed on him that time. Okay, okay, sorry if I stopped talking for a second there. I'm just trying to get this done as quick as possible. Wait, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Come on! Thank you. And then also it would help if you body slammed when I required you to game. Game or crash? Which one do I blame? This is definitely a worse showing than the, uh, the first time that we got here. Just due to the fact that, um... Thank you. Some of the boxes and stuff are... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a thing. We got this part. It requires us to high jump. Enemy, get out of the way. Oh god, Jesus. I didn't want to lose right there, you know? Oh, we got gold! Only two seconds off from platinum and I had to wait? Alright, I think air supply will be the last one we do in this ep episode. And is that like a two minute timer? Oh, yeah, that's... Intrigue. Oh, yeah, this one. This is the eel level. That might be why. Intended for, you know, have to wait to get past some of these eels. Like this one, for instance. And then sometimes not have them apparently electrify when they're actually supposed to. Or sometimes have them do it for extended amounts of time. Like, yo, I'm just gonna electrocute you for an extended period of time. No big deal. See, like that one. That one instantly flashed again. How are you supposed to know that's gonna happen? You don't. It's all a mystery. Plus, these levels aren't big on uh, the time stop crates.
Oh gosh. Oh, I see. You have to wait here. That's why it's over two minutes, man. Man, without my Accu Accu anymore, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm not paranoid anymore. Also, maybe they took into consideration that some of the controls are really weird and don't work in some spots, so they're like, you know what? Like, did you know you have to wait for that uh, TNT no matter what, if you push that switch or not? Okay. Darn, I thought that was the ending, to be honest with you. Oh, there's the ending. I'm pretty sure we got platinum. Gold? So, like, it was 2 minutes and 20-some seconds for, uh, Sapphire, but then... Wow, okay. Anyways, the next episode, we're getting new f No Fly Zone, and I believe we only have one more gem left to get, and that's Drip Drip. And, oh, two in Final Countdown. See you guys next time. Excited, aren't we?